And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. Ugh, there's fucking worms in it. An old Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die the Whitehill soldiers the always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fucking right. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> He's, He's had a run-in with Walder Frey, did And he? he's leaning on a girl. I should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a real cursed. shame about your leg, my oh, lord. Who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. What a dis... We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? Move! Now! Go on then, my lord. It's madness. You can't starve I them out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. You call this walking? I can barely stand. Well, you're here at least. And a good thing, too. Indeed it is. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lords, please! Oh, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! Because we have no bloody army! It's Islands! I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. 
Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Houses Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Let them go hungry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen, can you imagine? I wonder who it was. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. 
She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard? <sighs> The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well... It's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. Say it'll be a short order. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend Shh. the realm You'll get us in trouble. Don't be such a bootlicker. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes? What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the war. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. 
covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Not bad. Doing that all wrong. But we don't have these, we're at. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Something wrong with your eyes? Hit the dummies where I tell you. You know a marksman, that's for certain. Gotta be faster. That was way off the mark. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Stop daydreaming. Right target. Chest. You can follow orders at least. Center, between the eyes. Disgraceful. You barely hit any of them. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. 
Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Have a practice sword. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well fought. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. up here. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Jump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. <coughs> Want some help? yourself, Tuttle. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Oh, you're a prick. You know that. Yeah, I do. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. 
How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Get it! Do something! Just calm down. Fight! Oh! I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside! That wasn't very nice. How about this? Oh. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! There they go again. Get up! What is going on here? Stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't! And Garrett defended him! The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it! Huh. And you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training! Sir, I. Not another word! You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? I have a lot on my mind lately. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. <sighs> Suit yourself then. So, I, uh... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. I'm... 
I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. And what would I stand to gain if I did this? Seven hells, Mira. Do you ever think about anyone besides yourself? I came to you for help. No, you're right. I'm sorry, Sarah. No, I'm sorry. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros? I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You can't do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. 
Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. Tell whomever you wish, my lord. It's no concern of mine. We'll see about that. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I'm sure you already have a proposal in mind. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the North is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady, 